Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Naval Action. I'm out in my Implacable. And this was supposed to be a uh, an episode where I show you uh, using uh, the Implacable as the main, but dragging in a fleet uh, ship, which is built as a fire ship, uh, and show off the effect of uh, controlling in, uh, your AI ships and hopefully a good fire explosion. Uh, also, my intention was to draw it into a group kill mission because that was a sure fight. Uh, however, you cannot drag your NPC ship or AI ships into a group kill mission, and I didn't know that. So instead, the following video is going to be me in the, uh, the Implacable from the last group kill mission, uh, taking on a somewhat different group kill mission. It's intended for six players, uh, and it's going to be against six third rates and 14 fire, fifth rates or rank five ships, so 20 enemies in total. Um, when I got in there and realized I couldn't uh, utilize my fire ship, I was kind of like, all right, um, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to dip out the fight. But after like running for five minutes, it's like, well, let's give it hell anyway. So I attempted the group kill missions within the time frame. So there's going to be another long video. And uh, luckily, I didn't uh, mess up the uh, voice recording on this one. Um, so it's a long video. It's group kill mission. Um, Sadly, you'll have to wait to see the fire ship in action uh, for a later date. But we'll load the video, and uh, once you're done watching, uh, please let me know in the comments if you like these longer battles and uh, if there are any certain types of battles you'll see. Again, I'm not doing meta videos, but if there's group kill missions or something like that you want to see in a certain ships, let me know down below. All right, let's roll the fight. All right, gentlemen and ladies out there, we have arrived. We are, as I said, just southeast of La Mona, and we have our group kill mission in front of us. Max group size six, we're just going in alone. Max allowed class rank three. So get in there. So here we are. Quick little screenshot for that one. No, it didn't bring in my fleet ship. Ah, fuck out me. All right, back in. Uh, just dipped her out for about seven minutes. I actually had intended to uh, <laughs> to run from this fight as the uh, fire ship idea didn't work. Um, apparently, fleet ships getting doesn't get drawn into group kill missions. I didn't know that, but I do know that now. Uh, then I thought, the hell with it. Let's see if we can actually do this. We lost about five minutes. Seven, actually. Well, let's see if we can actually pull this off. They are falling behind in a big fat line with a few coming in behind us. All the fifth rates are quicker than us. Um, so technically quicker than us. So it might not be the best of ideas, but there we go. We are reloading pretty quickly though. Most of that bounced. They are getting dangerously close there. What we don't want to do is get in between them. We want them blocking each other as much as possible.
Don't turn in behind me. Ah! Come on back out. Empty power. Make sure we get the full shot in. Let him turn a bit more. There'll be a lot of bounces on that one, fortunately. Which targets here because he's presenting better. And I'm mindful of that guy coming in behind me now. Oh, they don't like it, not the wind. Have him turn, 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 turn. Change the ball, I am. Just took a bit of fire at the rear there. Right, he's bouncing. I need to be mindful of them coming up behind us now. I want to stay ahead of them and not get caught in between. Get too much fire from all directions. We are going to angle out. Shift target. Uh, a bell pool. Good effect on the bell pool. The good thing about our side armor is that. With their armament on the fifth rate, so at least we can allow ourselves to uh, more or less just stay flat on. Check the range. Get up. Looks like we're going to have targets on both sides now. power another shock on him effect there. More or less can do one broadside, the other one's going to be reloaded and then turn back in. Uh, fire too high on that one mostly. Reload it. Are you falling off or are you continually to chase me here? The thing with these fifth rates is that low f side there can get frustratingly hard to actually hit them. Give an effect and a shot. Reload it. And just a bit high on that guy. Come back to the other side. Looks like he's falling off. Range is good. One ship down.
finally get hit. That raid is closing in. Gonna have to start turn to engage now. He's coming in, so we're gonna switch to this guy instead. Good amount of hits. Bit of an angle on him now. Let him flat out. A little bit high. Alright, one more bird so I should finish him off. Come back the other way around. Looks like Top Dixon's fold off a bit. Shoot in on Emilio here instead. Good aim lower with that one, we would have had him. Alright, ship's still in good condition. Uh, we lost 12 crew so far. Still manageable. Quite a turn to get the last shot in on Rasmus something something. Alright, aim low this time. Still high. Jesus. Gonna stick with him for now. Bring him down. We're gonna turn back around, finish off this guy afterwards. Wanna finish off this guy now. Alright, he's down. Start focusing on the next target. Well, I'm gonna come around. See if we can take out that third raid. We are somewhat on fire right now. Gotta come around and see if we can finish off that guy. Oh, 
stick with him at this angle. Bit of damage coming in. So we'll do like this. Up our first, just to keep on top of it. Turn off a bit, just fall off. I don't want to go close to the wind. Would have disabled you, didn't. Might be fired. They bounced. We we'll reload it. Coming back in. Don't slow it down, let me sink you. Alright, looks like he's not going to play ball for now. E power, keep him within range. He's going to need at least one more broadside to go down. Two if I keep shooting high. Almost fully repaired and we lost about 21 crews for now. We're not doing too bad, we sunk two. <laughs> uh, not in the way I intended, I still wanted to do that fire ship play around but... Alright, got a third raid coming up on our side now. Gonna have to deal with him first. Pairs are done. Turn a bit. Might be fine. We can turn back in. E power. Fire. Fire back on, turn out again. And that guy should be where we can actually start shooting on two targets now. A little high. Right, the third race is fired and we are reloaded to turn back towards him. Reload it, coming back around. Better effect. Shock on him. He fired on the opposite side. And turn again. Basically, this is going to be a rinse and repeat until we get all of them all run out of time. Fire. 
Mm, good hit. He's at an odd angle now. But she's still penetrating me fairly easily. My god, one broadside reloads as quick as the other, I don't know. I must admit that increased reload from the uh bravery pack is definitely feels good, but it's not usual useful really for uh one we ones unless you're fighting something really big. Let's get this guy finished off. And he's down. Third raid coming in close. I don't want him too close because that's when he's going to start penetrating us again. Top Dixon in you before. Back for Apparently he's back for seconds. That must be the, the way to interpret it. Alright, they took out my stand by now. Gained a bit of range on that third raid. We are sustaining a bit of damage to our starboard side, but good thing about the current wind situation is we can always fall off to uh, port if it gets too hairy. Uh, that was water. Uh, everything just hit the water. We've got three leaks in on him, but need more for that to be really effective. Back to the third raid. Hola! Few went over the middle deck. He's on fire. One more broad type will bring him down. Come back around. shock on top. I'm gonna stop deselecting the uh, deselecting the decks here because they reload so bloody fast that won't really matter anyway. Is he down? Yeah, he's down. Back around, finish off top Dixon. We're down to 60% uh, of our side armor on the starboard side. Uh, not quite finished off. Just stick with him for now. Give him one more broadside and come back on the opposite attack. All of it is coming up behind us fast. We've got two minutes until the next repair. On 
on top. Come on top. Reload, boys, reload. Turn and chase the 36s. Are you still not down? Damn it. I kind of turn a bit more into him then. Be a bit more fire to stand from that sinking third rate. Hi. Too far ahead. Oh, come on. I just want to finish off this guy. Already spent half an hour taking four ships out of 20. Should be him down. Just check. Yeah, top Dixon's going down. Alright, got no one on the other side now, so we can keep it like that until we get a full repair going on. I really had hope I could do that fire ship thing, but Oh, well, we'll live, we learn. Do all those. Get a reload going. Okay, from 36s. Why isn't that third rate sunk yet? I hope I got him down far enough so I don't have to like con deal with him being stuck in the rear and we have to go back to get him. Turned. The other one that was sinking. Ah, Top Dixon. Go should be part dealt with. Yep, indeed. Top Dixon just went down. So do we turn starboard and finish off the belt pool? Yeah, we've got an endymion coming up behind us. That's a belt pool there. Alright, yeah. Let's turn and finish off David and he is on our starboard side. 
may even get lucky and get that Endymion up on our opposite side here. Got pull. No damage sustained. He's in reload shock right now, which is good. Stern is reloaded. Get the crew off the guns. A bit high. Not enough to produce shock on him, sadly. I am very annoyed that one hasn't gone down it. And I have no idea why that Essex hasn't gone down either. Why that Endymion is sticking to him, I don't know. Might be picking up survivors, probably. We want to look for an RP reason. That's a shock. Get another one of those in. We got him sunk. We're going to turn back around. Engage that Endymion afterwards. I want to finish this guy off first. Could be him. Yep. Turn about. that bell pool uh bring it all right elias all right and 25 leagues actually might sink him if we'd taken out his pump, it would have been even better, but that amount of leak is definitely taken on water hard. If you can take out his pump right now, he'll be doomed. I'm gonna shoot a bit forward. reload shot I'll do it does look like he's getting low in the water doesn't it I mean 25 leaks should do him in he's definitely going down he's definitely thinking yeah 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 25 leaks he's down All right. Yeah, definitely don't mind that. If we can do the same thing to Jesse here, I'm not sure he's healing over enough anymore. No, not a single league. A shock on him, nonetheless. If you get ships to heal over just as much as he did and shoot him on the underside, um, you can bring them down fairly quickly. Um, was a bit easier back in the day, and I was never any good at really doing leaks. It can be done.
Ah, just as the wave hit. But how are they? None really on the opposite sides. So we're going to continue on this one. I think our biggest issue is going to be more or less the same as I predicted on the uh, other group kill mission is the time constraint. Especially when I'm not shooting at targets on both sides. I mean, we've spent a little over half an hour now. Uh, let's say 35 minutes roughly getting to this point. Forty, he's down. What do we got coming up behind us? Bologna's a third rate. Brigitte's fifth. Brigitte, pool, third rate. Right. Can we do it again? No. Ten leagues. I don't think that's going to be enough. May be able to pull him back on a bit of an angle. We can get him to heal over to his port side. Get another shot on his... Uh, on his waterline. Ah, it doesn't look it. And then again. Try it. Nah, just a single leak. Two leaks. Not many hits. They hit a wave. Hey. Clear the waves. A few more leaks. Shock. He should be continuously taking on water right now. Down fifty crew. Yeah, it's really sinking. I can't tell from here. And it's turning dark right now. I see you moving in behind me, Endymion. Alright, another six leaks. He should be taking on water in a capacity that he cannot keep up. Five minutes. These still haven't sunk. That. Oh, that one's not even damaged. That one hasn't sunk. That one hasn't sunk yet, which is annoying. Same with the SX. I think that guy's going down. I can hardly see him anymore. A fire. The reload shock on him. I'm gonna turn more into them, see if maybe I get those two to pass him behind me and up on the other side. Not going anywhere fast. And he's taking on water. Water's coming all the way up to his gun ports. Oh, 
I think it's time to switch targets. Park. Must be one of these in the rear. Yeah. One, was it? No, that's whole. Park that one, the bell pool. Alright, switching fire. Is he back on the move again? He is back on the move! Damn you! Alright, Emiliano needs to go down as well. We'll finish off that guy later. We have the wind to swing it behind me, no we don't. If he swings in behind us, we're going to turn. No, I'm just going to stay there. It's knee. Well, he doesn't. It's going to be perfect for us. We can give him one of the nose and come back to with the other broadside on her. Not going to repair up just yet. You're moving or sinking? Can't tell. Fire. Come around, finish him off. Let's come around, let's come around. And we should be able to move in between these fifth raids without too much hassle. Mm, it's just on the edge. I want to give him one more on the nose just to bring his central structure down. Sneak up on me, I didn't see you. Might have been a few waterline shots there. Right, he's down. Right, so now we got targets on both sides again. Blank fire. That Oscar Hammond. Uh, that one. Third rate. All right. We don't want to be this close to the third rate. Not if we can help it. Reduce the heal. And fire. Turn out. That other guy, that's a Bologna. So it's two third rates point blank. We don't want to be here. 
and we need a bit of sail crew left. As I said, we don't want to be that point blank to the third rate. Five and four, get that rudder back up. Where is that damaged guy? There he is. He's still moving. You can turn to him. Wait for him to turn a bit more. And fine. Come on, bring him down. Yeah, he's down. Pump one out. Alright, repairs underway. Five and three, put the crew on. Lost about 75. Time trap to repair those. Third rate coming up, fairly close. Turn around. Look at that one. Third rate in behind, floating around. You gonna come out and follow me? Wouldn't mind if you do. There you are. Right, deep power to decrease our heal. Can put the wheel over just a little bit if you want to. Get on the nose, turn and face the others at range. Means he's going to come up on the opposite side too. Another kill. Who's gonna line up? Are you? There you are. Repairs are done. Still in good shape. Crew slowly getting patched up. Why aren't you sinking? Uh, a few shots into the water. Right now we're being chased by more or less undamaged ships. And that one's going down, that was undamaged, 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 undamaged. Okay. Got to deep power, I'm gonna let that one catch up on the opposite side. Too close for that guy, really. See if we can scooch him behind him, get a target on both sides. Alright, that was the fifth raid. Go 
someone's on fire, isn't it me? Can't take out his rudder. Didn't have it. Oh, it's the third rate that's on fire. Nice. All right, 35 minutes and still got a massive chunk of them to sink, uh, including most of the rank threes. Get that shift rate done with you as well. I dodge most of those. Now we are on fire. Rudders down. Our fires are out. Ah, just short. Should check the range. I'm going to be half the broadside, but... Hopefully we can reload. And we got another 3 minutes and 44 seconds um, on the reload. Ah, he's falling off. Ah, okay. Not gonna get that done. Give him a shot and then we get him turn. Another fire. No, the way you roll in. Might have been a bit low as well. And keep him here, we might have him healing as much as possible. Might get lucky. So yeah, 30 minutes left. Kill 10 out of 20. And we still got most of the third rage or rank 3s to contend with, so. Need to up my game here, I was actually going to finish this fight in time. A wave coming in. Nineteen leagues. Might be enough. We are going to switch target here. Quite damaged on the starboard side, um, annoyingly. I have no idea where the pump sits on the Endymion, otherwise I would try to shoot that section to take out the pump. But, no idea. He's falling off. Alright, we've got a 500 Endymion again. Wave is coming in. Wave clear. Ooh. 
One. That was all. Ah, three, actually. Is he taking on water? Yes, it does look like he's taking on water now. Yeah, he's taking on water. Bye bye, Uriah. And there he went. That's probably the way to go if you really want to do this fast. I wasn't considering it an option. Starting the fight, first of all, as I wanted to do the fire ship thing. And, and then I intended to, uh, alright, no one, I'm not going to recall this, just dip out. And then decided to get back in there anyway, and I didn't consider the, uh, the option to actually uh, leak them as much uh, to actually be viable. Of course, you're not leaked. I'll take out your pump. Alright, get it underway. Got five nine ship left alive. It took half of them out so far. Hi. That's well on the way. So as you're watching this and um, and sitting there thinking, all right, uh, please let me know down in the comments below once you're done watching the videos if you like this kind of content. I know they run long because it's an hour and thirty minutes ish. Um, but tell me if you like these sort of battles, if not, this one might be a bit easier, the uh, third rate versus first rate was definitely a bit of a nail biter, uh, even though I fouled up the audio on it. But let me know in the comments if you actually like fights of this size, um, as they do take up a bit of time to record, so I kind of hate to be doing too many of them if you don't want to see them anyway. Don't close on me like that. So yeah, please get in the comments section. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you want to see more of this or other things specific. And I'm open to suggestions. I'm still not going to go into the... Uh, the meta building of uh, wood types and stuff like that. If that's the kind of videos you're looking for, there's others out there doing the same. Uh, have a look at Kairos um, if you want stuff like that. He just posted a, uh, a pretty good video the day before recording this uh, about wood bu ship building and wood types. Alright, one more, if we're lucky, should do him in. Need to reload up. Oh, 
Can't wait for the full broadside here. Yeah, pump's taken out. Not completely down though. He's taking on water heavily while the pump is damaged. Um, we're going to stick with him for one more broadside. Hopefully, slow down a bit. Don't get too far ahead of ourselves. Fuck it, he's going to turn too much. Parting my language. I'm going to turn here to hard oh, to port here and get another shot in on him. Again, trying to prevent someone struggling by him. Should bring him down. Come on, dip down. Dip down, dip down, dip down, dip down, dip down. Decent amount of damage on Andrew Nash. Andre Nash. Let's come around again. Again, getting close to those third raids isn't a great idea. Stick with them. Got on power. All right, uh, a few more sinking. Take still that third raid afloat somewhere. Where is he? Up there. Which is a problem because if he's not taking on water, he's not going to sink. And if he's not sinking, we'll have to chase him down. And I don't think we have the time for that. One more broadside on Bauer, he's done. We're going to do what we can to stick with him. Almost loaded. him down. Five and four, Rodder took him out. And that's why I have the uh, emergency master. Um, just to get that reduction on the cooldown for your uh, rudder and pump in case shit. Alright, let's come in behind the third raid. Starting to take a heap of damage now. Uh, 
I'm a bit high on uh, that guy. Third right. No. Was it? Was it? I am wondering whether we need to set course towards him while we fight the other third raids, just to make sure we get him down. That's probably what we're going to do here. And then we can try to deal with these two third raids at the same time. Angle and turn a bit more fire. All right, back to playing cat and mouse, but on both sides this time. Turn it around, keep powering. Turn the other way. We well, should be able to keep pushing one side and the other with these two and slowly gain on that guy. I'm not sure we're going to make it within the time constraints though because we've still got four ships behind. Uh, but we're going to try. Those five minutes I lost initially. Not a bit more. I could have used those now. Low. Shooting. Why do they always insist on returning fire? Turn out. Not okay. Alright. Uh, one second, so have to not reload on one side for a bit but we did the turn I'm back out reload it one Turn out to fire this broadside and we'll reload it later. Still got one more minute before we get crew back on. Season hit, a bit too much forward, but there. I have to reduce the gun crew for now. Full effect on the repair. Third raid is coming in a bit too close for comfort. A bit. bit of damage. And we do have enough crew, uh, not on six, seven, for a full reload.
and glance just a little bit on that third right. Reload's almost done. Probably going to turn straight into a broadside now, isn't I? Battle rating is still significantly higher than ours. Bit of blind fires on 36s, but I think I managed to hit. They did. Alright, repairs back out of the way and time for a bit of crew. Get that surgeon up and running. Thank you, admin message. Yeah, we got plenty of time. We only got 30 minutes left anyway. Third rate's falling behind. Infallible Cerberus. Gonna take a few shots. Uh, Alex. Something. Nash. Oscar Hammond. here for a second we are closing in on that guy name hola get him sunk at least repairs are done reload the opposite broadside but working back on that guy as well not out of it yet but we're not really confident yet one turn Turn, turn, turn. It doesn't want to because of the wind. But now he turns, of course. Turn to fire on the uh, Alexander over here. Right, come back to the other one. Oscar Hammond. Bring him down, hopefully. That's right, level up, level up. Should be enough. Full penetration. Yes, pumps out and he's heavily damaged. He's going down. Come back around. Bit high, he's on fire. That guy's gonna come down on us. He's gonna get to us, that's fine. We do need to kinda alter our cause due to the wind here. The one's on fire, not me. kind of far off but he's coming with the wind so there is at least that what are you indefatigable go down to battle sails let that guy catch up Basically at the point where any sort of damage to him is going to kill him. Going to swing in behind the further eight. 
come off on the other side just to take him out. Roger, take it out on that guy. Back to firing from the bow. Did him, did him, did he, did him. Good enough hit. Closing with the rest of them. Um, finish off Alex here. Taking a bit of damage as we do. Prize will have to pay to finish him off. He's down. Third raid's in the wind. the guy but do I stay for the reload or do I actually tag here yeah let's tag one reload reload Alex down, reloading up. Six minutes. I'm not even sure that guy's going to get here before we do uh, reach the crunch time. Nor are we probably going to sink that remaining three. Indef is undamaged, three is more or less undamaged, and third raid there is undamaged. I'm calling it. We're not going to make it. that guy down to counter turn I am gonna try and what was that fire come I'm gonna try and get a long shot off on uh, Ola maybe that'll push him over the edge he is moving slower than in oh then my grandma's her car <laughs> Slowly coming around. Strange him. Oh, yeah. in the rear. We're back on fire again apparently. Can't get in on Nash. Got some long on that guy. Oh no, sure. Alright well we have one going down, another one going down, two more or less undamaged. 
these two and one behind us on damage so yeah not quite within the time frame but we tried Ranging shot damage fire all come on We're gonna take out his pump he's gonna be gone Nash. Two hits at least. Gonna lose this guy while the minutes takes down. Rum. Look at all. Yeah, that's it. Turn. Ranging shot. Range. Range is good. Come on, go down, third raid. Got two minutes and twenty seconds to sink. Alright, Nash. Good hit on Nash. Looks like he's finally going down. It might be ever so slowly. And the minutes are slowly ticking down. Let's see if we actually get Nash down before time runs out. Well, not by doing that, that's for sure. Ugh. All right. Um, I'll admit defeat on this one. Uh, <laughs> but as I said in the beginning, um, if that's any sort of excuse, the intention was to actually show up for fire ship. Um, I just didn't realize I can bring in uh, fleet ships into a group kill mission makes sense though because otherwise you'll be able to double your numbers So I'll find another video for you to see the effect of a fire ship Right now we just had a good old fight There's Nash over there, we're not gonna get him. Still not gone down. Third raid, indefatigable. Ten seconds this is gonna be the final broadside. Rolling one. Completely missed our mark, but. And the battle is over. We do have a few minutes to finish off the fight if we want to loot him and get the XP. Uh, but we have now failed the missions. It will run for, uh, I think it's 5 or 15 uh, minutes longer actually. But you will have failed the mission once you get back to port. So, as I'm full on XP on this ship anyway there's not much point in continuing the fight but this was another group kill mission for you hope you like the content and uh, let me know down below what you think of these longer fights until next time stay safe don't worry I wasn't going to cheat you for the XP and mission 
uh, rewards. But group kill mission failed. Okay. 